Welcome to the Global Crusade with Kamui, GCK Daily, a special presentation featuring the exciting and wondrous acts of God at the Global Crusades with Pastor W.F. Kamui, an international evangelist whose over 40 year of ministry has touched many lives across the globe. In a world really from the aftershock of COVID, God through his servant brings to us today a message of hope, healing, and salvation. In a real world with real problems, we need a real savior with real solutions. Our nations have been crippled, supply chains have been broken, shortages and inflation are commonplace. Whispers of corruption, wars and terrorism have reached our ears. Many live in fear in the future of what's coming. People are suffering from the trauma of the past few years. We need hope, we need help, we need a hero. In Jesus Christ, the Lord of the storm is here to save us. Listen now and let the truth set you free. And the Lord assures us that the moment you know the truth, that truth will set you free. It says the truth will make you free. What truth is that? Was he talking about? Number one is the truth about God, who God is. They saw God in their mind as the one who gave them sickness, who gave them infirmity, who gave them defeat, who gave them destruction. They said that's the will of God for them. They were languishing in bondage. They were languishing in deprivation. They were languishing in their helplessness. And they thought that's the will of God for them. They didn't know the truth number one about God. What's the truth about God? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, only begotten son, that whosoever, whosoever, not only an Israelite, not only a Jewish person, not only the white, not only the black, everyone, whosoever, anywhere, everywhere in the world, whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life. They need to know the truth about God. They need to know the truth about Christ. That Christ is the way, is the truth, and the life. And no man, no woman, and no Israelite, and no Gentile, and nobody anywhere cometh unto the Father but through the Son. They need to know the truth that Christ is the way, is the truth, and the life. And that life comes through him. Salvation comes through him. Power comes through him. Acceptance by heaven comes through through him, they needed to know the truth about the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit will help them to remind them how to pray. He remind them of their sin. He remind them of the stumbling block before them. So that they can take that out of the way. And lo and behold, they will come to the Lord. And you shall know the truth. And they will know the truth about themselves. You see, if you don't know the truth about yourself, you cannot be made free. You need to know the truth, number one, about yourself. That. Everyone on earth is a sinner. The high, the low, the well-traveled, the well-enlightened, the well-educated, the powerful one, the VIP, and not the very and the very and the not very important. Everybody all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. They needed to know that truth, but they didn't know. They thought religion will save them. They thought Christianity will save them. They thought denomination will save them. They thought the good works will save them. You shall know the truth about God, about Christ, about the Holy Ghost, about yourself. That by the deeds of the law, whatever you try to do by yourself, you cannot pull yourself out of the bondage of sin, out of the evil of sin, that it takes the power of Christ 
because of what he did on the cross of Calvary to set you free. They should know the truth about themselves that they were sinners and they have to accept the truth and that they could not save themselves that their salvation, their redemption, their righteousness and their acceptance is only found in Christ. Now, four things God's servant has mentioned in the first part of this message. Take a moment and ponder on these things as God calls you to a decision. Number one, the truth about God and his sacrificial love for all races and all genders when he gave his son for our salvation. Number two, the truth about Jesus. He is the way, he is the truth, and he is the light. Number three, the truth about the Holy Spirit and his power to convict our hearts and show us the error of our ways. Fourth and finally, the truth about ourselves, our depravity and our universality of our sins. Now, let's return to the message as Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi leads us to the fountain of life and forgiveness. And that the moment they believe and they needed to know the truth that everyone can believe. Nobody will say, I cannot believe. You have not known the truth. If you know the truth, you will know the Lord has so created us that he puts the key of believing in our hands. And whosoever believes in the Lord shall be saved, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. It's the truth that saves. It's the truth that sanctifies. It's the truth that empowers. If the devil has never known the truth, has never possessed the truth, has never told the truth, has never appreciated the truth, and there's no truth in him, he cannot save. And all that follow him cannot be saved. And the people that have the nature of Satan, because actually sin, S I N, is Satan in nature. The nature of Satan in everyone that has not known Christ the truth, it might know any other thing. The truth of chemistry and the truth of biology and the truth of mathematics, that kind of truth cannot save, cannot prepare you for heaven. But the truth in Christ and the truth coming on and coming down from Calvary, the truth of Christ, that's what comes and blows that sin away and it forgives you. And your life is totally changed. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, shall make you free, shall make you free, shall make you free, be sincere with yourself. As you look at your life, are there things, the year is running to an end. I'm not asking whether you've been to church this year. I'm not asking whether you are religious. I'm not asking whether you have heard the name of Jesus before. I'm not even asking whether you have said, I am saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. I'm not asking whether you say the name of my church is the most beautiful name of a church in town. All I'm asking is this knowing thing and this gripping thing and this thing that makes you a servant of sin and a servant of Satan, freedom. Is available tonight. Salvation is available tonight. Deliverance is available tonight. Can you be a man enough to be sincere? A woman enough to be sincere? A boy, a girl enough to be sincere? And say, today will be the day of my salvation. It will happen. 
I said it will happen. Because if the Son, that's the Savior, if the Son, that's our Lord, if the Son, that's Christ, if the Son, that's the Deliverer, if the Son, that's the Mighty One, if the Son, therefore, shall make you free, he shall be free indeed. It's about eyes closed. You want that salvation from the Lord now. Raise up your hand wherever you are. You are calling upon the Lord while he is near. You are not pretending anymore. And you are not saying anymore. Old religion, old tradition, old churchianity, whatever denomination will save me. You know that salvation only comes as you give yourself unreservedly unto Christ, the Lord, the Savior, who has paid the price of your salvation. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. There, online, anywhere you are, just raise up your hand and say, Lord, I'm humble enough to call him, call him Lord. Lord, I worship him as my Lord. Lord, I surrender to him as my Lord. Lord, I believe as I make you Lord now, you'll not reject me. Just raise up your hand and the Lord himself, in his goodness, in his love and mercy, will forgive you. Tell the Lord, I give up my past. I give up all my sins. I confess, I return unto the Lord, and I believe on a sacrifice at Calvary. I believe that you are there to totally, completely blot out all my transgression, hand over your life completely unto him. Tell him, tell him, I belong to the Lord now. I give my past, my present, my future, all to the Lord. Forgiven, I believe. Saved, I believe. The grace of God in my life now to continue to live a different life, a new life, I believe now. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for all these who have come unto you. For salvation, for forgiveness, for the blotting out of all the bad things they've done in the past until now. Lord, wash them as white as snow in Jesus' name. Take the guilt of sin away, the punishment of sin away, the pain of their evil life. Take everything away from their lives in Jesus' name. Let the peace that comes with salvation come into their hearts now. And the joy of salvation in every heart, every life now, in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, the grace to live like Christ wants them to live. You grant to everyone right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Savior. Your salvation has come. In Jesus' name we pray. You've just heard this message and perhaps you responded to God's call to salvation. His call to come home, to experience His presence and His precious love. What a great promise we have that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you've made that decision, we want to stand alongside you in your newfound faith. And in this journey, we want to be of help to you in any way that we can. Get in a good Bible-believing church and make achieving heaven your goal. Please visit us at www.dclm.org forward slash connect to share your decision with us. We'll be glad to hear from you. Jordan, 
What a special moment we've had in God's presence this evening. You could have not said it any better. And Stephen, I felt a surge of grace and excitement and a thrill of excitement about the many lives that found Jesus as Lord and Savior among our listening viewers. Well, friends, that's it for today's episode. Thank you for watching and joining us in this special presentation from the Global Crusade with Kumi. We look forward to you joining us on our next episode. You know, there are people all over the world participating in these crusades, learning about the power and the presence of God who loves us, saves us, and heals us. And also, thanks for being a part of GCK Daily as we post new videos right here on a regular basis to keep you strengthened in your faith. And when you share and subscribe to our channel, it helps us. And it helps us to spread this life-saving message across the globe. And please let us know how you have been impacted by our ministry in the comment section below. And please keep in touch with us on all of our social media platforms as we look forward to connecting with you as you join us from across the world at the next Global Crusade from June 23rd to 28th. Thank, Thank you. you.